Jack is out taking his antics down under, filming a new season of the show here ahead of his stand-up tour called Stood Up. Mm. And he joins us here this morning. Jack, welcome. Jack, how are you, mate? Like, nice to see you. Just start by saying, you two are so glamorous. Yes. But yes. in England, Breakfast TV, it's where we keep all the riffraff. Yeah. And the late night, they're very good looking. Yeah. But you guys look amazing. This, mm. this here is the very definition of riffraff. Yeah. No! Yes, I am. He looks brilliant. Well, you have Piers Morgan. Yeah, but that I didn't want to say. I didn't want to call him out, but now you have. So, yes, that's to who I refer. Um, how's it been, though, anyway, your, your time here in Australia? Amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been to Australia before. I've always wanted to come to Australia and do shows, and so it feels like it's been a long time coming, and it's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant. Yeah, the idea of taking, I reckon, your dad on a trip with you and, and to do a series with can be born out of the best of intention. Yeah. But in reality, when you're confronted with it, as we've seen there, it has hilarious repercussions. Yeah, and the, the weird thing is, those early shows we did in places like Thailand and mm. Cambodia, and there was like a language barrier, and then we were like, okay, well maybe we'll do America, and now we're in Australia, and there is no language barrier, it'll make it a lot easier. And then you come here and you're like, oh no, he's much better when he's behind a language barrier, because no one can understand <laughs> what he's saying. <laughs> and it's so much less stressful when he's being rude about people and two people, and they don't understand it, but here, <laughs> they do. I so do. it's a bit more of a minefield. And so what is that reaction then? Here. Uh, I think kind of people are quite baffled by it. Um, mm. They find him quite entertaining, though. I think it's great here because people have a very good sense of mm. humour. Maybe in America they're not as fine tuned to his kind of has, sarcasm. Has he been rude to Australians? I mean, it, it kind of lends that old sort of British sense of humour can lend itself to having a go at us convicts. You know what uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Like just Again, getting there you I didn't want to does. say it. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I think yeah, there's been a lot of kind of good banter that uh, that we've had on this on this tour. We've done some pretty crazy stuff. I got him. I tricked him onto a nudist beach in Byron Bay, <laughs> uh, which him. he didn't like. It was amazing. I just left him there, and then the nudists just slowly yeah, they swarm. swarm. I've it been was, there before by accident. Oh my! Yes, <laughs> I think I recognised you from that day. It's the suit. That's why I didn't recognise you. Suit. Yeah, <laughs> from the neck up. I was like, I've seen this guy before. Like you were on Byron Bay. Where do you look? I mean, that. You know what I'm saying? With you anywhere but south. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we did that. <laughs> you know you want to. <laughs> you are quite like Piers Morgan, more so than I thought. Mm. I uh, No, we did drag in Sydney. I, I got him to do yeah. drag, uh, wow. which was amazing. That's cool. Yeah, he, he, uh, he would only do it as the queen. So he <laughs> dressed as the queen. I wanted him to go full drag. I had his drag name. He was going to be called um, Rachel Prejudice. Uh, <laughs> and I had the dress picked out, but he was like, I'm only doing it as the queen. So we did this amazing night in Sydney where we did a drag act together. Um, mm. So that's all going to be on the show when it comes out. Awesome. Point. Right, and when we, is the show coming out? Um, that'll probably be out so, sometime later in the year. Yeah. Um, but, the, you know, the great thing about doing that show with him is that he's a great source of material. So mm. my stand-up show, there's a lot of stories about him and he gets thrown under the bus quite a lot, I would say, <laughs> in my show. So anyone that um, enjoys uh, the Netflix show, I think, will enjoy coming to see yeah. him. He tells me stories at his expense. And do you find it very different, you know, doing the television series to then doing the stand-up? I don't know, one of your first kids, I think, was in London at the Walkabout <laughs> Pub, which is, you know, <laughs> yeah. owned by Nozzy. So you sort of got a sense of what the Australian yeah. sense of humour is like quite yeah, early. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Like, my first um, my first ever gigs were uh, were, were two Auss Aussies in, in London. Mm. Although the weird thing about Aussies in London, like, when you meet Americans outside of America, it tends to be, like, the really sophisticated ones that have got passports <laughs> and have travelled the world. Mm. Not the case of those, no. is it? Like no. all the sophisticated ones in here. We send our best out. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Are you having a crack at Aussies in London? Because I just think that's where a lot of us come alive as people. Yeah. We discover who we really are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we discover what we find funny about the world. Yeah. And, and, we've, and, and we, have, we find our respect for alcohol and our relationship with alcohol. Oh, my God. It's so, <laughs> so true. So true. Does this show air in England? <laughs> it can should. I, can I slag them off? <laughs> yeah. Go for terrifying. it. Terrifying. The most terrifying audience you have ever <laughs> Played into anywhere in the world is Aussies in London because That's the it's best. it's insane, yeah. Because our drinking laws are so yeah. lax. It's yeah. like you, it's like you're preloading mm. for the trip back to Australia. Yes, mm. and they're just drinking solidly. So That's it. yeah, so I, interjecting all, a lot. A lot of interjecting, a lot of heckles, yeah. yeah. And but you know, that's why I'm looking forward to playing to Aussies on home turf. Well, we're, we're no better here. I don't you're know no what you're here? expecting. No, Absolutely okay. not. It's going to be torrid. I just me. think I just think it's the coming of age for Australians in London. Um, yeah. And and 
It's the best of Australia right there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you reliving a little moment oh, of his no. youth. Oh, I just close right my now. eyes and go back there. Oh, my God. Amazing. The chanting, the drinking. <laughs> the, the everything. Peeing oi, against oi, the wall. <laughs> and the men are pretty bad as well. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie chicks abroad, the best. Wow. The best. Oh, my God. The Sheila's on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Australian women are the best. <laughs> Honestly. Um, uh, thank you so much Tracy, for coming. Tracy, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> I knew I recognised Tracy as well. <laughs> Walkabout Fulham, yes. Oh, yeah. She's banned. She's, um, Tracy's single, so if you've got yeah. any oh, um, mates in it. the UK, <laughs> okay. you know, just let us know. That's it. Um, we've, got a bit of tra we've actually got a bit of video from Tracy at the... Um... No, we don't. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jack. Great to see you. Breakfast TV in Australia That's is it. so much better than England. <laughs> exactly. Here, here. Round I'm applause staying for Jack here. Whitehall, Woo! everyone. Woo! And uh, you can catch his stood-up tour kicking off on Wednesday in Adelaide. He's a very, very funny, charismatic man. We love mm. him. He's